Greetings everybody. I am Shujaat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Shujaat and today we are going to talk about history and physical examination, a very interesting topic of gynecology. So in history we have medical history. Our first point is collecting that history and then write it down. Second is in gynecology we have pelvic examination, tests and good communication. Remember Good communication is the key. If you have good communication skill, you can communicate better with your patients. In communication techniques, we have four points. We have first, concentration. If a doctor is concentrated on his work, he will have better chance to get uh, know about that disease. Second is knowledge. Third is kindness. And fourth is humor. And they collectively make up trust. In gynecology history, we have general items which patient tells us, we have chief complaints and we have present and past medical history that what he is feeling right now and what in past he has diseases. We have social and marriage history that either there is any problem in his social or marriage life so we have to take that history as well. In gynecological physical exam, we have general exam which we exam by looking at his body that either there is any anomaly that we are seeing in his body. We have abdominal exam. We have pelvic exam of gynecology. And in tests, after doing these examinations, we have tests. So we do following tests. Few tests are ordinary. They are basically simple ones and few are special. They are for special purpose. They are for special anomaly. So we do these types of two tests. After that, what we see in physical examination, as its name shows, physical examination. So we see symptoms, general checkup, abdominal and pelvic checkup. Symptoms are the key for us in this physical checkup. So we collect these points and we will make our decision that the patient that we have has following disease. In pelvic checkup, Chief complaints are, if a patient in gynecology, we remember these points, that a patient have 12 week of menopause. He has chance of severe disease, or uterine bleeding, or abdominal pain, or uterine fibroid. If he has one of these conditions, or these symptoms, he have chance of severe disease. Now, history of present illness. In history of present illness, we are going to talk about pain and bleeding like if you talk about pain so we talk about the location and quality and quantity of pain that the how much is severity in that pain a patient is feeling so how much swear is that pain so that is his present history and in case of bleeding we see that the intensity of bleeding that how much blood is pouring out from his wounds from his body and we see that this is our present history in case of Past medical history, we ask patient about immunization. Either he has taken some sort of immunization or allergies and blood transfusion process that either has passed through some blood transfusion process or not. So in case of menstrual history, we talk about the patient about the age of minute, that the start of menstrual cycle and then menstrual cycle and menopause which is uh, the stoppage of menstrual cycle late menstrual period and previous menstrual period it is our menstrual history in case of marriage history we will ask patient about health and condition of his husband time and date of marriage history of giving birth to a child and the measures that he has taken to control that birth now talking about the obstetrics history. So here we are going to talk about the outcomes of previous pregnancy, mode of delivery, either it is by cesarean section or normal delivery, baby weight, life and health of baby that how is he survive, how is his health right now and how is his health in case of pregnancy and in first month after birth and in case of vaginal and pelvic examination we will check uh, in case of vaginal examination we will check deformity ulcers 
or leukorrhea, which is a basically a pouring of white fluid from vagina. We will also check pelvic examination by speculum, which is basically a instrument used to check up the pelvic, either there is any anomaly or either there is any uh, distortion in that vulva examination. We also do it skin laying or prolapse, we will check it. We have two types of examination, biminal and triminal. So focus on the words biminal. We came to know that, that the biminal is basically bi from two. So we use two fingers of hand and we put pressure on lower belly and two fingers of hand we will check the patient and uh, we see that there is any anomaly or abnormality in that and in case of triminal we use both hands we use two fingers of one hand and one hand on the belly we will put some pressure and one with finger so we will check it by triminal so we says that we use three fingers so it is our triminal examination the diameter of inlet look there is three to four different types of diameters first diameter is true diameter which is about 12 centimeter second is obstetric conjugate diameter which is 10.5 centimeter third is diagonal diameter which is about 12 to 12.5 centimeter fourth one is external diameter which is 20 centimeter and we have also a transverse diameter which says that anatomical transverse diameter and it is 13 centimeter in diameter pelvic soft tissues they are comprising of perineal muscles and formation of birth canal is basically by these perineal muscles and in case of musculofacial support they musculofacial look on this word musculofacial so they are basically providing support to the pelvic floor and when we say that trimester mean three months so first three months of pregnancy when we calculate them in weeks so they are about 1 to 13 in weeks second is 13 to 28 weeks and fourth one is 28 to 40 weeks so these are basically guys our discussion our lecture on history and physical examination in gynecology and obstetrics hope you all enjoy it and understand it don't forget subscribe medicals lectures by fujat thank you so much